the, the major challenge is in recognising the atypical symptoms that patients may present with uh, having had a prior history of Kawasaki disease but presenting with then an acute coronary complication. I've, I've already touched upon the fact that these young patients presenting with atypical symptoms very often will not have the classical risk factors for coronary artery disease and so that will distract the, the adult cardiologist from necessarily pursuing ongoing investigation. It's further complicated by the fact that patients often present with really very atypical symptoms so it will not necessarily be classical central crushing chest pain it could simply be nausea or uh, sweating or generalised fatigue and so again in the absence of the risk factors it could then be you know, very difficult for uh, the acute physician to uh, focus their attention on trying to exclude underlying coronary problems and that's further exacerbated by the fact that then often they will not have clearly defined ECG change or a rise in the troponin. So you know, this does generate really very, very significant challenges in the diagnosis. Now clearly, in the absence of a history of Kawasaki disease, that, that job almost becomes impossible, in fact. And we're then really at the mercy of following appropriate guideline um, in terms of uh, pursuing non-invasive uh, assessment of the coronary arteries, either through assessing for morphological change, so with a CT coronary angiogram, or pursuing uh, the angle of trying to exclude significant ischemia with a non-invasive ischemia test. In the presence of a history of Kawasaki disease, then you know, this is where our need to raise the awareness in the, the acute physician group, in the adult cardiologist group, is clearly very, very important because there has to be an understanding that the uh, coronary effects of Kawasaki, be it with or without aneurysm, may result in these very atypical presentations. And we need to think very clearly about pursuing cardiac investigation, even if the history is truly atypical and the acute markers such as the ECG or the troponin are negative.